My name is Andrew and I'm going to show you how I made these really cool bottle openers and ask all of my best friends to be my groomsmen, all in my tiny workshop. Let's jam. So at my last place, I had this large bin of scrap hardwoods from previous projects, just very thin and long stuff, nothing wider than a centimeter. And I decided that I should make something useful out of them before the move ultimately destroys them. I made a rough stencil of the size that I wanted these bottle openers to be out of some scrap MDF, and just traced them out in what I hoped would be something cool and interesting with crazy patterns. Then all I needed to do was just chop the boards up on those lines. Because I was cutting some weird angles, I opted to just use my eye and the miter saw. Just be really careful. After that, I cleared everything up with both the miter and the table saw. Before gluing, it's always a good idea to make sure that there are no visible gaps in your materials. Just take a peek with your eyes before committing to the glue up. It's a lot harder to get rid of the glue you don't want than to, you know, just check it. A good glue up shouldn't need a lot of pressure, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't use as many clamps as humanly possible. Now you'll see I purposefully left some slop on all of these glue ups to account for my own stupidity or whatever. If you're perfect, you can skip this part, but I went back and chewed everything up on the saws again. I thought that since each of my groomsmen are so unique and from all over this country, each with a different geographical heritage, that a gift made from all kinds of exotic and domestic hardwoods would be kind of fitting. So what drew me to this particular hardware was its simplicity. It's not bulky, it's not big, it doesn't require extra fasteners here and there, it doesn't require extra holes. It's literally a hole to recess it, which you don't even need, and a hole for the bottle cap to fit in, drilled at the same center point, and then you just screw it on. So if you've seen any of my other work, you'll know that I love rounding over the edges on these laminated projects. And so that, coupled with the fact that this is something you're going to hold in your hand and feel it, I wanted everything to just fit perfectly. So. I went to the cheap little Mastercraft router table I have here and rounded over all the edges and no chip out. I'm surprised too. Alright, so, sanding. You never see a lot of it. Honestly, this was probably about one one hundredth of the time I spent sanding. I even finished and then re-sanded them back down and finished them again because it just wasn't perfect. Just like the rest of your life, don't forget to screw it up. At this point, I'm spending a fair bit of time tweaking the design in Illustrator, trying to get the spacing, the weighting, and the feel just right. We only have three inch by one inch to say everything we need to, to make these feel unique and special on an individual level, but also part of a cohesive team of groomsmen. A couple of days ago, dropped off the bottle openers at our good friend Barry, laser engraver, and just got them back, and I'm really pumped because they look freaking fantastic, so can't wait to finish these up. So earlier in the video, you may recall that I had talked about finishing these, sanding them back down, and refinishing them, all in the name of perfection. And that's exactly what you're looking at here. You'll notice these were pre-engraving. I just use a natural tongue oil on them. Tongue oil can be misleading. Each brand has their own idea of what it is, but the one I like is from Lee Valley. It just brings some life and vibrancy to the natural colors of the wood, making them pop. After that, I just coated the heck out of them in some spray lacquer. So that was a really fun project, and 
I think they turned out great. With a small piece of hardware and some excess scrap wood, so you can make something really gorgeous that hopefully means a lot to these six guys. I'm not going to end it today. I'm actually going to let my Grimson Bob take it from here. So, without further ado. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week we're going to be doing an unboxing. Uh, this week's partnership is sponsored by My Tiny Workshop. He sends us over a little thing to unwrap and let's uh, let's take a look and see what he sent us. Oh, oh, who knows what it could be. Oh my goodness, look at that wood grain. Oh my gosh, what could this be? Oh, it seems to be, oh, an autogram bottle opener. Look at that beautiful wood grain right there. Absolutely amazing detail. Oh, and look at that engraving. Not a mistake, absolutely perfect right off the bat for a groomsman for an upcoming wedding. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm just gonna take a moment here and show you a little bit of the spec sheet. Uh, with this bottle opener, I've been told that it does not uh, have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, there's no 5G on it or OLED display, but I don't think that matters because what this is going to do is open up some beautiful bottles and be a keepsake memory for life. Yet again, massive shout out to this week's sponsor, My Tiny Workshop. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful craft. This is going to be sticking around for a long time. Show it around the shop and we'll see you uh, how one feels and get back to you. Yet again, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day. And um, that's the video. <laughs>